My HelloFresh box has just been delivered. I'm super excited to be working with HelloFresh again. And this, this box has five different recipes that I'll be cooking for this week. Now, I'm not gonna be cooking this right now because I'm just about to go out to film, but dinner tonight, later in this video, is sorted. And if you wanna get your own HelloFresh box, use the link in my description and code HelloJanusFung to get a discount on your HelloFresh boxes. All right, we are about to head to this food truck that I've been meaning to visit for the longest time. I saw photos of their food on social media and I was like, I have to go. It looks so, so delicious. But then the past couple of weeks, it's been raining and I haven't been able to visit. But today, today is a good day. And I just checked like the weather forecast. It seems like it's not going to be raining for the entire day. And then next week, next week, we're raining pretty much all week. So, and we are here. I am currently at Blacktown Drive-In Markets. This is where the drive-in cinemas are. In fact, I'm looking at the screen right now and I've actually never been here before. These markets are open once a week on Sunday and I'm super excited to check it out. It seems like there's a lot of people and uh, you have the option to park like along the streets, but I couldn't find any parking. And then as I started to drive in more, there's like, an option to park in here and then you just pay two dollars at the entrance so yeah i didn't expect there to be this many people so let's not waste any more time let's let's go and let's explore this place my backpack is always so heavy i need to reevaluate what i put in this all right i think we're ready let's go Okay, I'm trying to find <laughs> where the food truck actually is. I've walked past a lot of different stores, but I can't seem to find what I'm looking for, but it's probably because it's like right in front of me and I'm just missing it. to find a place to sit here at Blacktown drive through Markets and I've got in front of me birria tacos one with cheese and one without and I've also got the consomme the owner was telling me that the consomme I can use to dip my tacos in and then afterwards whatever's left I've got noodles to to enjoy this consomme with I'm super excited so I'm just gonna get stuck right in This is really good. The beef is super tender and you can taste the richness of the consomme throughout. Now the tortilla shell is relatively soft, but it's still robust enough as a vehicle to, to carry this delicious, rich beef. They have an option to self-serve your own salsa. So there's a mild option and there's also a more spicy version. I opted for the more mild one. So we'll see how this is. We'll add a little bit onto our tacos. It's nice, the tanginess cuts through the richness of the beef. I think it pairs very, very well. Hi. We're subscribers. We're subscribers. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. We, we sit down when we have a meal at home, in yeah. the home theater. We have it on the big screen and we watch it go. To oh, thank you so much. Thanks so much for saying hi. I really appreciate it. Also, by the way, if you ever see me filming um, while you're out and about, please come say hi. It always makes my day. Okay, so this is the consomme. I, I, before I dip these tacos in, I do want to try these noodles. These noodles are soft, but they still got like a really nice chew to it. Okay, now that we've tried these noodles, let's, let's dip the tacos in. That's really good. That just enhances the initial flavor and the richness of the, of the birria taco. I would say though, if you're coming with someone, get your own consomme, don't share it. 
Okay, so I've also got the queso taco. I don't know if you can see clearly on the camera, there's like a cheese crust on the side. This is more of a hard shell taco. I've added some limes on top and let's see how it is. The hard shell taco is like corn chips on the side and then you've got the creaminess of the cheese and biting into this, it doesn't fall apart as easily as um, the first one that I had. Okay, this was really delicious and this was a great start to the day. Okay, I was just browsing the, this area and I came across some dumplings and it turns out the owner of the store watches my videos and she offered for me to try some of these dumplings. Oh, Sissie. Um, what, what's your name again? Uh, Sien. Sien? Sien. That's my Chinese name and English name. Okay, okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Thank you so much for the dumplings. <laughs> I think they're pork and chive dumplings and they smell so good as she was frying it up. I added some chili oil because she was telling me that it's homemade and then I've also added some vinegar as well because dumplings with vinegar, it's like a match made in heaven. Crispy on the outside, I can see the chives, I can see the pork on the inside. And dumplings with vinegar, you really can't go wrong with that. All right, that was a very nice brunch. Um, I think that pretty much concludes our little adventure here. You know, I'd love to come back again and experience a drive-through, drive-in movie session. They have like a, a diner thing where you can buy food as well. Anyway, on to the next part of the vlog. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are having this, the easy lemon pepper steak, and this corresponds to... We are gonna turn this, this, and... This into something that hopefully resembles this. Okay, here we go. All right, and there we have it. This is what it looks like. They look pretty similar. That seasoning is so good. I'm pretty happy with how I cooked my steak. I've never tried beetroot chips before, but it's actually really nice. It's like, it's got like a sweetness to it as well. So I am currently in St. Leonard's because I am catching up with a few of my friends for brunch at the Mayflower. Now I've never been there before so I'm super keen to check it out, see what's on the menu, etc, etc. Okay, we are just done with brunch at 
the Mayflower. The whole vibe of that place was just really cool. They had like butterflies and they had this graphic thing at the very side. It was like an interactive art piece. And the food was not bad. The portions were a tad smaller than I expected, but the coffee was good, so that's a positive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually looking for a new pair of glasses. So this is the pair of glasses that I typically wear when I edit and it's fine until it isn't because after about a minute or so, it starts to like slide down my nose. So what I do is I put this in my hair and then I put it at an angle and this way, this doesn't slip and it kind of does the job. But the problem is I can't really go out like this because I think I just look a little bit silly I mean, if you saw me like this in public, would you judge me? Uh, anyway, that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Thank you to prep for it for your comment last week. That episode of The Office, that was a pretty good one. If you'd like me to include your comment in my next video, leave me a comment below. Like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. I'm walking all the way back out here because I really want to capture the, the big sign for part of my video. But now that I'm standing right underneath it, you can't really see anything at all. Hmm.